me dream God let my brush strokes become interwoven Keep me alive, clarified and unbroken Let me ascend into steady emotion Give me the strength against all my erosion Are these the colors of my legacy? What's hanging from the wall is the only thing that's left of me Do the answers wait for us afar Until death takes us up to a star What happens when we die? The answers in the sky Sight of the starry night, the sight of the starry night makes me free. It makes me free. Oh crap. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right. No, wait, that's not my intro. <laughs> uh, I flustered myself. I flustered myself with the thing earlier. <laughs> that's okay. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> oh man, I'm doing okay. I'm doing just fine. Uh, we got some. We got some stuff going on. We gotta. We're gonna be drawing some Pokemon today. Uh, the webcam stuff is still gonna be up, but I do not have it on the other screen because it got in the way of my credits. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and play those, that, that song at the moment. Yes, let's go ahead and start it up. That's really nice. Uh, so anyway, today we'll be drawing some Pokemon that uh, some other viewers have... Uh, one of my friends has drawn for the region. It's based on one of the Pokemon in region that has a, now has a Luna region version. Uh, I'm gonna go over some of the lore with that region. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about my friend a little bit. <sighs> Out of breath. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. 
the face we <laughs> we have uh this one right here and i got a new canvas and everything ready for this we have uh, this friend here whose name i now understand what it means and i can't say on my stream but good friend on Locke's channel i uh, highly suggest their art lock it's very good anyway this is dorpint a dorpint uh, this is the luna variety made by hellhound 20. uh H.H. is a very, very clever, good artist, very clever artist. Uh, I really like how they drew the ears, and I like the spines. We're gonna go ahead and scroll up in our D in my DMs with them for a second. What's this? Oh, snap! Was that a, was that a job? <laughs> is that kind of a job? I'm not gonna... I'm gonna, um, talk about it. I'm not gonna show you my art DMs, but... Uh, rather than stone, these guys need a motion-based treatment and location to evolve. The Eskal region, which is uh, their Figamon region, uh, has seen specimens of impressive size and agility. Every form has the same instinct to protect their trainer, their own kin, or their territory. Currently, not they're not permitted in professional matches. These guys are based off a custom species of mine called Basilis. Hilariously, they were inspired by Pikachu. Uh, that's from HH. And they gave me some context on Basilis and how uh, they change... Things about like how uh, they raise their kids and some of the, the um, evolution in uh, their region based on tropical islands and desert rock and stuff like that. Now, uh, so I didn't want to change it, the, the design too much, so I didn't. <laughs> I just drew in my style instead. <clears throat> so this is a uh, Lunarian uh, Dorpent. They go turned into like a full psychic dragon type. Uh, they're just a full psychic dragon type, and they do not have like a two stage. They don't. They don't have like a, a first stage, a second stage, and a third. They don't have like a basic second first stage and then second stage. They just go straight to the final evolution, which is Vortex, the black hole serpent Pokemon. Yes, I'm gonna be basing uh, this creature on black holes. We're also gonna be drawing. Uh, Better friends, I got like four minutes to just to spend before uh, anything happens. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start inking. I think um that's a valid response to what's we gotta do. Got my pen nib, got my my snacks. Go ahead and just get started. I I really like this design. I really enjoy uh HH's designs in general are always very uh outgoing. And, uh, they have a good sense of, like, friend shapes, I think. Like, um, I make friend shape Pokemon a lot, but they make friends. Uh, like, I, I, I mentioned before that I play, um... I play D&D with ATH. I'm on ATH's channel playing D&D quite a bit. Uh, the only person else I'm doing that with at the moment is Locke. So it's it's a I'm checking if I started streaming properly or not. <laughs> That's my feel right now. <laughs> oh, that's not normal. I don't think. We're just gonna properly grab the black here. Turn that all black. I can brush. Yeah, no, this is um a good one. It's a very good line art brush because it's not very smooth. Uh, it makes you fail to be being precious with your lines, I guess. I have an issue where I'm very precious with my lines and everything I work with. Uh, even these, <laughs> even these sketches here are very uh, refined looking and like finished product kind of vibe. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of trouble just like going in and just doing a real, a real basic sketch. I feel. I I did want to start this with a with a solid render. I thought I thought that that would be a good idea. We're just gonna render both of these and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the fire starter. Now, uh, in Hh's region, these are creatures that adapt very easily to environments. They're like the apex predators. They're like the big, big. Big ones, right? 
So I wanted to make a sort of creature that I, I, I didn't know what else it would be other than a black hole in my brain because there's nothing more powerful uh, in media than a black hole. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know how valid that is. I think uh, a lot of time in like media, black holes are seen as like an all-ending force. I also think black holes in real life are just really pretty. And I thought it would fit this, uh, well, usually very monstrous creature. Uh, I thought that they would become a lot more alien looking in my region. Like, uh, because they would have adapted. Who are these, are these Evos? Uh, this is, uh, HH's creature. A uh, little, little friend here. Uh, so HH has a Pokemon in their region called Adorpent. Adorpent. And, uh, they made a Luna variety. So I, I asked them if I could draw it today and... They said it's okay. So we're gonna be drawing a door pin today. And we're gonna be... Uh, talking about a bit of like my dex ideas. I wasn't able to rate by the way, that's why there's already sketches and stuff. <laughs> my brain was not able to wait this time. You guys can <laughs> see that one. I had an instant idea for this tile, but I wanted to draw them in my style real quick first while I talk about them a bit in the Luna region. So the thing is, right, there's there's very adaptive. They change based on their environment and uh, emotions of their trainers. And that gave me a lot of psychic vibes, right? But also a lot of dragon vibes. A lot of psychic dragon vibes with like being like an apex predator space that also is very in tune with the emotions of their trainers, you know? I thought that, that immediately that was something I felt was very important to try to capture uh, with the evolution. I'm very sh that it's not um it's not as apex predator I I would have liked it. Maybe their face splits open. I don't know if that's too much for Pokemon. But I really like the idea that uh this isn't like a normal damn the ears have stars. Yeah, the ears have stars. It's going to be really pretty. I once we finish it, it's going to be real pretty. This is just a dorpent that got out with his trainer. I feel like they first came out, came to be with like um, early, early like astronauts, quote unquote, in the region. Cause they have like this sort of, uh, they have like that vibe, you know, like uh, astronauts would bring adorp adorpents with them as like emotional support and protection because these are very protective creatures. And look how cute they are. It's just a tiny serpent. It's just a baby serpent. So, I feel like um, early astronauts brought these these friends with them. Uh, so for like emotional support and things like that. And eventually, they evolved into these things. They, they, they sort of shifted to their environment and eventually all of Luna-based travel adorpents look like this. I did want to switch up design a little bit. I don't... Uh, I just, just to draw it in my style more, I wanted the eyes to look like magic, I guess. I want them to look like they have uh, like full galaxies in them. You guys are gonna have to excuse me. I'm terrible at line art. I'm a, my art style is fully lineless. <laughs> I have a lineless art style. Line, line art is hard. I try very hard with line art. Uh, if you guys have any uh, recommendations or like tips for line art, I'm so ha I would be so happy to like hear it. Yeah, no. Uh, I do want to draw more people's uh, Luna Pokemon because I've I've gotten a couple now. The thing, I, I'm just very awkward of asking and not entirely sure how to ask. Hey, can I have, uh, can I, can I draw this here? Because I don't want to steal, like, you know, I, I never want to take, like, credit for an idea. Uh, this is very much a creation of, uh, the, the very, very creatively talented HH's designs. Like, little, like, the spines especially is very HH. If you credit them, it should be fine. Alright, as long as I credit them, it should be fine. Alright. Yeah, alright. I'll, tr I'll try to- I'll draw- I'll draw more, and I'll credit everyone. 
Uh, yeah, I'll credit everyone um, at a certain point with these friends. I got scared for a second. I was I was doing this on the sketch layer, and I thought, okay, <laughs> it's okay. It was a false alarm, and I didn't fail. This one's real shaky. This these li this line right here is really shaky. We're gonna get rid of it. I have real shaky hands. Like I I didn't I don't think I uh, I I've uh, really. Like, um, grasped how, like, shaky my hands can be. But I, I am, like, on stabilization 3. You guys can't see it, but... It's, it's bad. It's bad. That's partly why I like using these rougher brushes here. Can't be as precious with these lines, because they're already rough. Using the tried and true method, delete your art. Delete it. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, all right. I think it's okay to like just restart something. So there's a snick, 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 snick. Look at this friend. Uh, thank you so much for uh, drawing a Luna version of your friend here. I absolutely adore them. And it's definitely a character design I wouldn't have come up on my own. Look at this friend. Look at this friend. <laughs> uh, I need to come up with a start from more region. Now I'm just gonna focus on Entomons because that's easy. I feel that. I feel that. I also drew something for uh, Entomons. A bit ago. That being said, it isn't... I didn't draw a bug. I objectively didn't draw a bug. I did draw... I did just draw a little friend. <laughs> I do think that's just indicative of my art style. I like drawing friends. And you do a common cold... You do a common cold with feelings. <laughs> it's a catfish! It's a catfish, so he does have a cold. He does have a cold. <laughs> He's a catfish mine. When he gets uh when he gets nervous, his uh sn his sneezes. His sneezes causes earthquakes. Oh, by the way, can you guys hear the music this time? I was worried about it last time, uh, cause I was... <clears throat> when I was, uh, doing... When I was looking back on the video, I couldn't hear the music that was playing the entire time really loud. It's soft, okay. Give me a sec. I'm gonna have to call that good. I had to keep the music soft, uh, for my ears, because if it gets too loud, I just stop talking. <laughs> it's something I notice with, like, a lot of my old art streams. Definitely something... It's definitely something I, I work on. It's better? Okay, okay. That um usually a door print evolves into very uh big creatures with a lot of muscles. 
I don't know if muscles will wear it. They're just very big and they're very bulky. I did just make a snake. Them evolve into a snake here though. I feel like that fits the shape better in my brain when I first uh, thought about it. And also, I think it fits like um, the aesthetic I want to go with for this sort of region where everything turns a little bit alien. I like these little spikes on their head. Uh, some are bulky, others are thin noodles, depends where they are. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like in space, uh, despite the fact that if you... Well, I guess they lost muscle mass. <laughs> Is that dark? Is that dark? I think, um... I think Adorapin lost a bit of muscle mask. Uh, while in space, when they evolve. Yeah, I think a lot of people from the, um... Especially space travelers from the Eskola region... Uh, decide to take a door pint with them because even though they're not used in professional matches, they're very protective and things like that, or at least their evolution is. So it would also... one, it'd be a good chance to like see, hey, what the heck would these things evolve into in space? But also, uh, how would they... But also, like, emotional support, physical support. Just good friends. Uh, the Wally. No, it worked, and Wally humans also had bone loss. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they lost bones, they lost, uh, things that helped them survive. I'm gonna... Okay, alright. I'm sorry, guys. This is a weird transition. I need to change my pen nib. Uh, I think... Where's my pen holder? Oh, there it is. Found it. We're gonna change my pen nib real quick. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I see you. We're gonna change my pen nib so I can draw straight. from my younger sibling that there's pendants in the stand, by the way. That's not something I was able to learn on my own. I had to be taught that there was pendants in there. I just thought that I had to live with the fact it was dying. I'm not a clever person. Oh, that's the kind of tap we had. Yeah, yeah, it's in my stands and you need like new nibs once in a while. Oh, heck yeah, look at that. That's so much better. <laughs> uh, because if you know... Alright. Mine are tiny, easy to lose baggies. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I got one of the ones in here, but I got less pen nibs than, uh, one that you get, like, in a baggie, I think. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> I should have changed this a while ago. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm cheap, but uh, so I draw at an angle, so all my pen nibs get like an angle to them eventually. And apparently, uh, as my pen nibs like to tell me, it gets really hard to draw when you <laughs> you're drawing at an angle. <laughs> when your angle isn't perfectly angled. real quick. In case anyone's wondering, Sinnoh has just great music. Sinnoh's great. Yeah, so for mostly my pens replace snips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, I... Alright, here, listen. 
In my family, I think I'm the only one who has that weird problem. Because I think my reaction to everyone seeing my nip was like, how do you do that? <laughs> Ways down, I just use one. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my feel, right? But technically, I have, I still have a side that's okay. I just, <laughs> it's just also tilted. I've only I've only gone through two pen nibs as of yet. I don't do it until it's like real bad, like just now, which I probably should just change it more. <laughs> it might be a cause of a lot of my grief. It's like, man, why am my hand shaky? Oh right, my pen nibs suck. And it keeps, like, doing a little weird thing. <laughs> because of that, I ran out of pen nibs. I also didn't know I had pen nibs in there. Until, like, very... Very late. My pen nibs is this thing. I thought I had to go buy some. Oh, it's like, you know, the printer stuff, you know? It's like, hey, this is fairly cheap compared to it, but you can make more money by making th this thing that's attached to it super expensive. I guess I just ruined printer for people who didn't under know that, but uh, printers are technically in like printer ink is kind of bad and kind of scammy. Uh, the side. Yeah, like the side of the pen nib. <laughs> My side of the pen nib's all wonky. There we go. This friend's coming to shape. weird. So it's like Slater. Yeah, it's like Slater. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> My nip becomes slanted eventually. Yeah. Do you guys not draw like that? It's like, you know how like when you write, you write... <laughs> Is that how you write? I'm not crazy, right? Mine does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that happens. That happens. I'm not insane. That just happens. Problems, slanted pens. <laughs> I guess I also do that with pens, though. Like, yeah, you know, uh, if you like have a pen, you you do it like this. You draw like this, right? But like the side of the pencil, not like straight up. Or at least that was how I was taught in in school. Like, don't draw like like that, like this. Draw like this. And that, that kind of stuck with me, I guess. In a weird, weird way. And so now even with like, my pen nibs, I still do that, even though it doesn't matter. And it, it's probably better for them if I do it like that. <laughs> I was a traditional artist for a very long time. Don't, don't, don't at me. This is cool. This is really cool. It's also really loud. <laughs> what is this? I found a very interesting playlist, I guess. Are you supposed to replace them if it gets worn out? Yeah, I know. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? I don't uh, really... It's a, it's so gradual, right? When your pen nibs get worn out that you don't always notice. Is that me? Is that just a me thing? I, I feel like that's just a thing, right? You know? It's... uh, This is by the way it's false. This is naturally something that happens. The, the frog will just go out. 
But it's like the frog in the hot water thing, you know? The frog doesn't know the water's going up if you do it slowly. And then it dies. That's how I feel about pen nibs. I don't know it's going out until it goes out. And it dies. <laughs> Your pen nibs shouldn't die, though. <clears throat> pen nibs shouldn't be death. Or, uh, experience death. Aside from that, look at this serpent. Look at this friend. Is it better to do line art close up or far away, you guys think? I I still don't do line art. Line art hard. <laughs> How do you always do the same side of the nib? Um... I don't know, actually. I don't know. I think it's because... Okay. So I got buttons on the side of my thing, right? And I like the buttons to rest on the side... The bottom part of my thumb, I guess? And because that's how I just... That feels the most natural to me. That's where it's all it always is. Because <laughs> my nibs wear out slowly and it's shorter and shorter and even. My nibs don't get shorter, they just get slanted. <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, it's because there's buttons on the side of my pen, and I like those buttons to sit at the bottom next to my thumb. I guess I never thought about it. I just thought that... Don't you always hold your pencil the same way to get, like, the same pencil? <laughs> Is that not a thing? too long, I guess. I don't understand your digital art ways. I can do a line... I can do line art just fine in, like, traditional art. Can't do it much in digital, though. It just doesn't make as much sense to me, I guess. As, like, blocks of colors. I also paint more in, uh, on... In, in this more than I do, like, uh, traditional. I like this because nothing's permanent. I like traditional because everything can't is permanent. You can't take anything back. Like I can be very precise and nice with this, and it can't stop me. actually lines in that. Give me a sec. I'm gonna look up, uh, Vulpix, because these are very Vulpix-like eyes. Okay, yeah, there's no line like that. I'm gonna get rid of that. We're gonna do some very Vulpix-like eyes for this one. Go, 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 go. So, no line should be the way to go with this. I, except for the outline, I think. Oh, I don't use like using the buttons on my. I don't like using the buttons on my pen either. Ah, uh, it just feels better sitting there, you know. It's like a texture thing for me. I'm sure that if I was like amazing at rendering and things like that, 
uh, it make it make a bit more compelling uh, argument for like watching me about this stuff. I th I think creative is good though, so I just hold them when whatever. Oh, I see, I see. I think the only <laughs> I shouldn't reveal this. The only button I really use is like the wheel tool on the side of my my tablet, <laughs> so I can spin my canvas. <laughs> Everything else I use my keyboard for, or I use, um... Yeah, I just use my keyboard or my mouse for. I like the ability to spin more canvas. I'm not always aware I'm doing it, though. I should check if um, these are actually aligned. I think they are. Nope, they're not. They're not lined usually. Okay, I was wrong. We're gonna erase that. Markings are apparently not usually aligned in Pokemon. And I can stand behind that more than this, you know? I can stand by these not having to exist. Stuff like this, right? I just, I just use my mouse. I haven't, I, I didn't think about it, but my process is real weird. What? <laughs> What's this? Okay, we're going to color you this color, bud. This is the color on the tin. Well, I don't know. All right, give me a sec. We're gonna go ahead and pull up some. Pokemon references. Pokemon. No, yeah, no, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. with that discord there all right guys have you ever been in a discord that's just like constantly adding you like every single always during stream as well just the constant ads I feel like that's a good reason to like have like announcement pings. There's there, that's one yes, that's one of the reasons why I, I do like separate like announcement ping and like stream ping and things like that, right? If you click the button, that's technically on that's that's you. That's you now. You get you get it. 
But if you're not clicking the button and they're just doing to you, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm being kind of cruel about it and being very, um, very traditionalist about it. I don't like adding people generally. Mm -mm. Like, even like for like the starter stuff, I was very, uh, should I add people? Whenever I streamed, everyone needs, everyone needs my attention. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. It's like, oh, it's always, it's always as soon as stream opens as well. I've noticed that all the acts happen. And I'm just like, oh, well, <laughs> guess we're doing this now. I'm so glad that I have my notifications off, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and make you a bit bigger, bud. Maybe excuse you. I like you any better. This is good music. What the heck? This is real good music. Yeah, no, go check out this human right here. I just grabbed it before a stream to have something to play in the background, but it's really good. Oh man, I love it when music's good like this. Pokemon are my favorite shape Pokemon. I like the little guys. I watch a lot of, uh, what's it called? What's, what's, I watch a lot of subjectively. Watch a lot of subjectively. I listen a lot to, like, their design process, I think. I, I watch a lot of dropping subjectively. And then try to figure out, like, process and things like that. Uh, learn kind of what, like, your style is. It's it's something it's something I I really enjoy. I enjoy their content. I think they're real good. I have never been able to catch like a like one of any one of their streams though. I guess that might be wild. It's like hey fake friend I guess doesn't watch every stream. <laughs> Physically cannot though. We're gonna simplify the markings a little bit, HH. You got some real good ones here? We're gonna simplify it a little bit for me. YouTube is like one of the things that I still keep up with today. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately in some cases. Uh, it's like one of the things from my childhood other things like video games that just stuck with me. It's partly because uh, all, all of my family, the entirety of it, was always into uh, art. Father arted it. Sister art and my younger sibling arts. 
Uh, it's something that just all of us do. We're all in art class at some point of our lives. And it was usually the class we really enjoyed. I, I don't know. It's something that I still do today. Uh, we all have a tablet and a copy of Paint Tool Sai. <laughs> Even though there's better art programs out there, don't at me. Sorry. This is just the one that works for us. Especially me and my process of spinning, I guess. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking about maybe getting into like some other, some other kinds. Colors. Thinking about colors. I wanna change the design of this one too much. I think it's real solid. I think that's also another thing I'm worried about, right? If I like I I do something or if like like I draw someone else's Pokemon. It's like um they're putting it in my hands to recreate something. And my art style just can't always recreate things. I've, I've noticed, like, this is just a weakness in general with me as a person, I think. Just real bad at recreating things, like, uh, even with, like, singing. Singing and, like, working on my other stuff. Can't recreate something, it just, just as is, my brain. I do like this friend though. And uh, again, thank you so much, HH, for letting me draw this friend. I think the... I think the eyes are gonna match the stars. Uh, I was thinking about it. I think that makes the most sense in my brain. For the eyes to be matched in with the stars. I got the blob toad Bulbasaur was a thing. <laughs> What's the wait? Is was that a thing? Was that a thing I missed? <laughs> blob, blob, blob toad, blob sure. So that sounds like something amazing. I'm down for blob toad, blob sure. on dark is always gonna be a bit hard but that's okay that's how it's supposed to be until he all makes sense i can't rap this is just talking at a very interesting beat yeah okay then we're going to rub it Take you 
friend, you. You're the lucky winner for today. It's so cute! It's so cute! Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I think this is fine the way it is. We're just gonna pop. Pop. Oh, about it right it might be better to render this first without the stars and then color it with the stars okay yeah 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 i think that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna grab Hmm... Okay, we're gonna try that again. I think that one overpowered it. Oh, they are blobby. They are pretty blobby. Sorry, guys. I just realized I went silent again. Wow. Got distracted. <laughs> really enjoy drawing Pokemon. in you, but it was my mistake to work with 
that color. We're gonna start with this instead. Where does the second part come in? Okay, so Adorapin, Adorapin, um, uh, when I was reading up on what a teacher's kind of idea for it was, right? It sounds like it's a very, um, very, uh, it's a type of Pokemon that's very into emotions. Now, uh, this might just be me being a Pokemon nerd, but when you look into a lot of, um, like, emotion-based Pokemon, they are generally psychic types. So I just thought that it was something that was very easy to fit. They're also, um... Psychic types are also kind of related to black holes in a way. Through, like, basically out of every Pokemon. Apparently, psychic types for whatever reason, just really into them black holes, you know? black hole uh, in the design through the psychic typing. Well, it's very sensitive to emotions and also <laughs> will actually just be a black hole and eat you alive. Segment is just like promising I know how to paint. Not like promising I've done this before, kind of feeling. <laughs> She breathed wrong. <laughs> Breathing hard. Breathing hard. Yeah, but it's gonna be one of those things where you just gotta keep going. Considered legal in like 50 states, I feel like. That's what painting feels like sometimes, like especially digital painting. Like, I feel like um, it's good for getting like a, Ken's, a, a type of like Kenzuki Mori art style. Man, does it hurt to do. It's just bullying you the entire time. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It sits there bullying you while you do your best. It is important to like stretch out your comfort zone though and try new things. Which is why I'm painting right now. Despite not being all that great at it. Important to step out. Bring you call a comfort. 
comfort zone and fail at new things. It's okay to fail. I tell it myself as I currently do an unquestionably okay job at finding shapes. Coloring tough. Coloring is tough. I actually don't mind coloring that much though, to be honest. Uh, I just also kind of prefer it not in this context and in a solid color context. Gotta stretch out in comfort zones. Make some real new progress on what you didn't know you could do. <laughs> Yesterday. Looks fine when I did this tried this yesterday. Just bring it back over this way, bud. black part good until we gotta add this. <laughs> ah, hubris. Hubris. Yeah, no, we're just gonna... I think this is fine the way it is. I think we've done our best. Okay, then I'm gonna probably just keep fussing. The more you fuss, the worse it's gonna look. You know that. You know that. What do you after? What do you next? We're on the clipping layer. <laughs> it's okay, we're okay. Uh, this one recently feels really boring just to color good. Yeah, yeah, it just feels good to color good. I agree with that statement. It feels good to be good at coloring just for a little. all the lights on them would probably be a, 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 a light source now and I'm just gonna ignore the fact that that might be happening <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore the fact I might need to think about that in a second oh god why do you do this Actually, weirdly enough, I think that part might be that because the eyes should be a light source. <laughs> oh man. If you want to feel better about your art, just start painting. One thing I've noticed about painting, it really has, like, I don't know, not that many rules, I feel. 
it's okay to just do a paint. Well, it has it has rules, but one of the rules is to zoom out and not, and not fuss. <laughs> and that's really reassuring <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and then you start fussing. And you wonder, why did you decide this rendering style, you know? You have a perfectly good rendering style at home and uh, you just you looked at looked at it and decided, "Hey, what if I just didn't do it this time?" <laughs> I don't know what to do about these, to be honest. I think, um, we'll do a darker one. Okay, um... Gotta give up on your dreams. Gotta give up on your dreams. どこかで指輪もしむしゃ食べて実は私らタラコのダイスキープラスエビカニ食べよインク色になるのなんだバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラバラ
we're gonna add some by here then. small things like I don't know I think the night sky is really pretty as soon as uh, more lights came to view right I don't see it as much for like light pollution and things like that and I guess that's kind of why you know it be like that sometimes my sensitivity is really high on my mouse hold on I'm sure there's a rule for like dots like this. There's gotta be a rule for it, but I don't know. I've always just BS'd it when I ever draw a sky. Uh, I'm sure that like everyone kind of knows this, but it's like I draw my own overlays and stuff like that. Uh, very, very not so humble brag. Uh, but. <laughs> So I, I've gotten a bit used to drawing like stars and stuff like I've even like colored the galaxy before a couple smaller colors I think the stars are gonna be like warning signs like they um they make stars and they use them as like a warning to tell other versions of themselves and things like that if there's like danger or something like that maybe an invasive species to space it's impossible to be invasive in space <laughs> is every creature that's go are we an invasive species to space i think that you think i would know this answer <laughs> from where I do. But I, I don't really. Are we are we the evasive species? Oh, she's so cute. It's so cute. <clears throat> These are just wonderful colors, by the way, too. Maybe, maybe it comes back for like the shiny form. Get like a. You get a bit of a. Oh, what's it called? Umbreon moment. You get an Umbreon moment where like the. Some of the, st the stuff changes color. Alright, this is a Dorpent. Dorpent. <laughs> this is it. This is look. This is our kid. Psychic ghost. Sorry, psychic dragon friend here. 
sword. Go ahead and put him in one of these. It's been so long since I've, I've drawn something like this that I really like. Now, that being said, all these colors are probably gonna change. Uh, for... Yeah, all these colors are probably gonna change... Once we head over... To this friend... So... Uh, something that... You tried- you, you talked about with me about... The evolutions of this creep of these creatures is that they're... All... Significantly... Uh, different based on things. Oh my god, is that the is that the blah blah frog Bulbasaur in our DMs? <laughs> oh, oh baby. My little collar probably sucks. Oh hey, dolphin, thanks for that in our channel. Yeah, yeah, I'm a. I should do some more color value studies in a bit. But yeah, this is this is this friend. Uh, but before we get our head cells, let me draw it. I did promise today that we draw some friends. I did say we draw something new. So we're gonna be drawing the second evolution of the Firestar today. And we're gonna see if we can plan something together real quick. We need some real... We need some real Quilava vibes. Real Quilava kind of vibes going on with this Pokemon in my head. But also some Houn Houndoom, I think? Yeah, like Houndoom for lava kind of vibes. Okay. I'm gonna make this small so I can see you guys. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. We're just gonna draw something real... We're, I'm just gonna sketch it real fast. No worries. Music's great. It's real loud. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, guys. I know. I just. I just. I. I did up it so you guys can hear it. I cannot focus <laughs> with the music. Okay. Hate this. these poses, I guess. Be able to see the back from the front sprite. Hey, Mathis! I'm having a pretty good stream. Welcome! We're just vibing, drawing some Pokemon. How are you doing today, Mathis? see here. We're drawing... Drawing a friend like this. I hear you.
Any other forms of drawing us hanging out with friends? Oh! Oh, I see! Yeah, yeah, we're drawing, um, we're drawing a door pen. Uh, we are taking a break to draw the evolution of our fire starter real quick. Just, uh, round out vibes. Once in a while you just, like, draw a drawing and, you know, you, you're not able to get, like, that pose in your head. It's okay. I I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna look for a bit while hanging out. Okay, alright. Thank you, Mathis. Have fun. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. like this. I feel like the thing that's not vibing very well. Among the many things that aren't vibing too well. The fact that we're in a pretty strange pose. this like this Not my sketching day. That's okay. We'll make it work. day today with that with that one uh, place I was talking about. Give me a second. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do to help it a bit. Oh nothing. Nothing I can do. Oh heck yeah Jason did it yesterday yay 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 <laughs> That's good! I'm glad! Uh, for people who don't know, we're gonna do a one-shot on uh, HH's channel eventually again. And it's gonna be like a continuation of uh, the friends that uh, were made on... Uh, for the Christmas and the Halloween one shot. Get on the new one shot. Yeah, yeah. I'll do. I'll do my best. Okay, got the face like this going on. <clears throat> Let me crack down on free run stuff I save it a billion times. If you ever need help, I'll come draw I'll come draw food. Put me in, coach, put me in.
I think the hidden ability for this one has to be levitate. Is that... <laughs> is that going too far? <laughs> this friend like this. I think we're gonna add a spine here. Kind of... Whiskers. I'm kind of digging this now. I wasn't too sure <laughs> on this line, to be honest. I wasn't too sure about this line because, uh, you know, it has very much a it's kind of not up my alley kind of vibe. Damn, this is gonna oh, this gives me an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, he looks like a skeleton because uh, he's losing bone, ma he's losing uh, muscle mass. And bone density in space. That's what he's based on. <laughs> yes, that is pretty dark and morbid. So he turns into a ghost type because he dies. Dolphin, I know that this one was one of your... You were like, oh, hey, I'm team fire type immediately. But man, was I not feeling him at the start. Oh, now I can't... I'm vibing with this boy now. Yeah, we be vibing now. Now he's got like um I know who did it. And I'm gonna come 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 at you vibes. He is floating. Like the bottom half floats. Cause you know it's space. I don't know what his what aka back would look like, <laughs> to be honest. I think it's a um, more skeleton. Oh, I, I actually real vibe with him now. I really vibe with him now. He was dying before, but now he looked cool. No, no teeth. No teeth. We give him. It's not just the exact same foot as it was on the pre-evolution. Not too much. I think it match. It makes it match the thing, but <sighs> I'm kind of iffy on it. We're gonna go ahead and just delete it. Delete your art.
Oh, I love him. I actually love him. I wasn't sure how where this was gonna go when I started, to be honest. <laughs> but he looked came out good. Oh, I'm so glad I took a chance on this pose. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stretch out my shoulder a bit. Uh, give me one moment, please. The cat. Got sent the cat. Oh, it's so good. Act Sorry if I'm tuning my own horn a little bit. I just wasn't expecting anything out of this line. <laughs> uh, I had a plan, but I didn't expect anything out of this line. Like, at all. I had no idea who what he was exactly gonna look like until I put him on page. Which isn't how you should do design. Keep in mind, like, right? If you're, like, actually, like, designing for a game and stuff, you would put, like, a lot more thought into it. You'd, like, actually do some research, go through a couple design changes, and decide which one's best. The skull might not be the best, like, for a kid's game. Well, no, we have some skulls that look like... No, I just had a confusing thought. Yeah? Yeah, what's your thought, friend? What's your thought? I gotta turn on the lights. <laughs> Annabelle's dad adopts the two girls. I, I'd be down for that, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Let's see here. Where? Still don't have a name for even the first evolution, to be honest. We have a couple ideas like Pyrat, uh, some other ones. Now this is a rat. The other one's a mouse. This one's a rat. Oh, it's so oh, I love dynamic poses. I gotta do more dynamic poses, apparently. It's it, it just feels good. It feels good. Alright. Dorifant. Glortex. Uh I named this one. After, like, uh, the name for a Latin root word for, like, snake slash serpent is Colber or something like that. And then Lore, uh, Lore's Prey. And Tex for Vortex. Lortex. I had a very uh, clear vision for this one when I, when I started out. Once in a while, Pokemon just comes to you very, very vid vividly, and this one was the one for me. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. It explains where the strawberry came from at the end of the one shot. Uh, yeah. So at the end of the um, Christmas one shot, right? Uh, we had a scene with the strawberry in a. We, have a, we had a scene with a strawberry in a thing. It was a whole. It was a whole. It was a whole thing. I do suggest watching it if you guys uh, don't mind a little bit. Of. But it does give some good context of a lot of our conversations. You gotta go with the good existence. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't need to do this one. Dragon types. I don't know if that's surprising to hear because I also one of my my favorite type is actually fairy type, and dragon types are like, I guess the antithesis to fairy. Like both of them exist in like a weird vacuum. I like dragon types. They look they look generally very cute. To me. Like I think dragon has some of the cutest Pokemon's. When even like against something like 
Very tight. Uh, I'll take you up on the offer from earlier, by the way, whenever you feel like it. Uh, I'd love to see your idea for food be really free. Yeah, yeah, you got it. I got, I got gotcha. you. I always loved drawing from other other places things. I just thought of one for Annabelle. All right, all right. Friend. Look at this friend. Looks kind of like a bat, like this. A little, a little scary, a little bat-like. Oh right, I have its um ear open up like this, cause uh, even though in the original it doesn't do this, I imagine like Colortex and a lun lunarian uh, adorpent kind of just kind of vibe like that. By the way, guys, uh, no one needs me to tell this. It's okay to be happy with your own art. I feel like there's... I feel like there's this sort of idea, right? Where you, you can just... you ha Part of you can't be, like, bragging about your art. You guys gotta keep your, like, hidden talents hidden. Y'all are amazing at art. Y'all are good at it. Uh, including art that's not technically art. Y'all are good. Okay? It's okay to just be like, Yo, I think this thing I drew slaps. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to be like, oh, it sucks all the time with our art. The original critter, there's flippers, face grabby tools. Yeah, in the original critter, that's how it is. But we're in space, so I think they're just keeping an ear out for like trouble and things like that, or for prey. It might not be as. This would be the okay. So, a door pin is supposed to be a split evolution. Uh, in the Lunarian door pen is a split evolution between two new forms for it. Uh, for uh, Glortex, this is if no one took care of it. If this is if you know it completely was on its own, set off into the wild, kind of, kind of first kind of thing, right? So it's like luring predators in into a vortex. Is that dark? Probably. Am I gonna keep it that way? Yeah. Lortex is what happens uh, when you leave a door pen alone in space and you don't give it the love and attention it needs or if you're like not... A... I don't want to say you're about to know. It's more like uh, if you don't... If uh, it's in a situation where this is where it evolved naturally without like the iron... The, um, the like trainer addition to the equation. I just didn't have lack of emotion. Yeah, it has, this one has a lack of emotion. So while it's all, it's cute to lure its prey, which is you, no. <laughs> it's cute uh, because it hunts, uh, basically it's able to sense your emotions, the emotions of others and other living beings, and it uses that to hunt. So it lifts its ears up to listen up for those emotions. It's basically the apex predator kind of, uh, but it's an apex predator basically. Uh, slightly based on like infrared and snakes. But it traps you by constricting you. Constricting you in big quotes. It uses gravity to constrict you in its scraps. Like a black hole. It in itself is a black hole. I think, um, Pokemon... And you know, like, all those, like, things online where it's, like, dark Pokemon entries kind of thing, you know? Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to be really into those. I used to watch the heck out of those. Uh, and I I know the Pokedex very well, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I grew... I, I grew up with Pokemon and things like that. Those Pokemon entries are just sad. Yeah, a lot of them are real sad. Uh, a lot of them are also murderers. <laughs> They're either sad or murderers. There's zero in between with ghost folk when I feel like. 
Or they're both. Like, um, I think Yukiona is both. I think it's like, oh, this is someone who got lost in the snow and now they forever haunt everyone and eat people. No, I don't think they eat people. They just keep them for decoration, too. That's worse. Objectively worse. <laughs> Yeah, but because, uh... Because we have, like, the, the, the ability to go, like, real dark and, like, how psychic Pokemon are usually linked to, like, emotions and things like that. I thought, I thought it'd be fine if I went a little bit, like, a, bit, a little bit space monster-esque with this cute little serpent Pokemon here. I, I, I've worked up. Gengar. 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 Your art. I don't like it. Sorry guys, we're gonna try again. That's from my hands for you guys, I guess. <laughs> uh man. What time is it? Oh, we're about reaching that two hour mark. something with this friend here. Not entirely sure if I want to line it, to be honest. Lining hard. Lining, lining hard. Unless you like do like this kind of line art, you know? I do a lot of pencil, like um, this is like a crayon brush here. I'll be, I'll be, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a crayon brush here that I, I use for line art sometimes. It's very textured and that makes it really nice. I'm gonna make this thing. Yep. Okay, this, that's pretty good. That's okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Take it real slow with you. Give, give it the TLZ it deserves. That being said, even like ghost type, ghost types aren't like the only type of Pokemon entries that are super dark, you know? Like, um, another one I can think of on the top of it. Oh, right, like Gorbis? Gorbis uh, sucks the life out of, sucks the insides out with a straw. <laughs> You know that little tube it has in the mouth? That's a straw to suck up your innards. It's to turn your innards into their food. Makes you thinks you like a Capri Sun. And yeah, I I like that. I like like the siren of this siren of the sea vibes that Gorbis has. Like that that Pokemon actually will kill you in cold blood without any question. It's an it's an animal. It lives as an animal.
and check this real quick. Yeah, I think I like that a bit better. Maybe clean it up a little bit here. Here. Ash, no, you're not becoming a Pokemon Master. I'm, I hate to say this to you, but because Pokemon Master is such a vague goal, they made a another character named Go to be your counter thesis, even though uh, in the anime, catching an catching Pokemon are so is something very momentum, mental, and catching all the Pokemon doesn't really work in an anime setting. That's just a problem like I have with Go, right? In like the new Pokemon anime, his 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 goal is to catch all the Pokemon. Something tells me this form is difficult to train simply because of lack of motion. Yeah, I think so too. This one... This one's a bit difficult to train. Like, people... I like to think that people try to catch catch it, try to take care of it, only to find that it's very... The training requires positive reinforcement. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is a type of Pokemon that... Uh, you, you, it's very difficult to train, and it's not recommended for like beginners to train, because... It takes a lot of work, but once that trust is built, you can't break that trust. Like with the other um, evolutions of this line, of, of, of like a, a Dorpent. Once you break that trust, they are extremely loyal. And as soon as you break through the, that difficulty that you have training with it, it'll all work out in the end. I feel like I would use one of these, to be honest. I like- I like this- I like this one a lot. I like the design side of it. There's also an- There's another one that, uh, Dolphin made. If you guys hop into the art channel on my Discord! Uh, Dolphin made. Very, very good Pokemon. Uh, man-made Pokemon back. And I- I actually adore- adore, adore them so much. The monkey cute! Monkey cute! And just, just great job on like the little, the little hands. It's so good. Yeah, no, real good, real nice Pokemon. Uh, people come up with. That being said, I've gotten some interesting reactions before. Like I know, like when I was talking with Ata, to like. Okay, this is what my region is based on, what's yours region based off, and I'm like, space. <laughs> there's, there's always a reaction there, you know? And it's like, what are, what are you, what are you drawing? Uh, potato. You know, potato Pokemon that might, might not be a bad idea. Cause you know, like, Martian potato... It could be like a movie reference. Why aren't you opaque? Be opaque. Why aren't you opaque? <laughs> He's opacity. I don't know. Everyone's differently creative, and I think that's what actually makes Pokemon really nice. There's no real wrong way to draw a Pokemon. <laughs> that might surprise you guys to hear, but there is very few rules in designing a Pokemon. As someone who's uh, been with the series for a very, very long time, uh, and have zero Dory in speaking of this, this is 100% my opinion, there's no right or wrong way to Pokemon, or like, make a Pokemon design. It just needs to be... You just, the only real quote-unquote rule is that you need to be able to imagine yourself as its friend. Like, even like this, you can imagine it as like a friend. And that's that's a rule I carry on with most of my character design, to be honest. I, I want people to be able to imagine these creatures I make as like friends. Even if they're like big, really scary dragon creatures. We should always have that friend vibe. It's 
So it's like, um, Pokemon artists out there. There's no right or wrong way to do what you're doing. And even though there's like a lot of value in like making the Pokemon like look real like Pokemon. I noticed that that's like a lot of value that people have where it's like, oh hey, I did this, made it look like a Pokemon. And yeah, me too, me too. I also really like making them, try, try to my best to make it look like actual Pokemon. But there's not a wrong way to art. Zero wrong way to art. Uh, so there's a modern creature in art called a potato turtle and it's a tortoise with a big potato on his back. And Miller is wrapped on it. <laughs> but why? Why does... <laughs> Can I eat the potato? Can we eat the potato? Are you allowed to eat the potato? Some shapes in here. It's shooting flame. <laughs> it cooks it for you too. Oh man, that's real nice of it. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine this. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. I'm just trying to imagine like this potato fiend just throwing potatoes at you, trying to be friends. I'm so done with lining at the moment. <laughs> God, I hate line art. I hate it. <laughs> uh, I really like the design. I, uh, you know, my younger sibling really enjoys sketching. Does not like, does not like rendering. I really like the design. Uh, once in a while, I like lining. Man, is this not one of the times? I like, um... I like really smooth, clean things. And that's not this brush, by the way. This is the same brush I've been using uh, to paint this entire time. It's not very smooth. It's just something I try to use to stop being precious with my lines. And once in a while it works. Today it's just giving me hell. <laughs> What? Bruce, thank you for the raid! Welcome! Oh no! I was gonna come join you! <laughs> I was gonna come join you! Aww! Well, thank you for the raid! Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Hello, everyone! Welcome! We're drawing some Pokemon today! I mean, we have Bulbasaur with its onion and Tortilla with a tree. Tabby said the yams, but you can't eat it. Nya nya for luck, nya nya. How you luck, nya nya. Tabby, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Motens. Uh, Rai for, for impish. Rai, Rai. How's everyone doing today? Uh, we're just, uh, we're just doing a doodle. Uh, we're, we're drawing, um, Lurtex over here it is the black hole serpent Pokemon, and we also uh, drew this friend here. This is a Dorpent, uh, designed by HH. Uh, oh, uh, what, what for, what for lock, what for Blade Cat? Why did? You... Hold on, wait, oh, Blade... <laughs> Blade Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> 
Uh, I want to have Pat redeem getting me to make me use sounds. I miss it. Play it and fix it. Why is there two of you? What is this? <laughs> I got it. I was clicking. Play it in. Right. Uh, wait, hold on. I gotta read. Alright, who wants me to redeem Splink's phrase? You just wanted me to say, oh fuck? <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> Hellhound's unbanned. <laughs> Uh, it, it's not a it's not a jelly cat experience without a without my mom's banning my friends on accident. <laughs> Let's get a big hydrate in here. I got my water. I'm gonna open open a new one. That's three hydrates. All right, we're gonna do a big cup. Okay, one, two, three. Ah. How can ancient build experience the void? Who shall be the next item in the church? <laughs> Uh, Mio, hi! It's my wife in the chat, guys. Hi, Mio. How are you doing today? Me? <laughs> it's like a code of shame. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Uh, yeah. We did color... We're doing color tricks right now. We got some other sketches. This is gonna... This is the middle evolution of our, uh... Little fire starter friend. What do you guys think? I'm <laughs> gonna keep next. I'll keep you guys guessing. <laughs> Mio! Mio! Oh, you're silly. I love him. He's great. I actually adore him. <laughs> I like him. That's a friend. It is a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The f I wasn't sure about the fire starter. I think this one looks great. He's like doing a float because he's losing uh, muscle mass and turning to a skeleton. Uh, is that dark? Yeah. Mm. But we're gonna go ahead and finish a dark uh, color text right now. Uh, try to finish lining her at the very least. Uh, but then maybe we'll line the other one as well. We'll just do both. We'll just do a couple line art, and I'll color them off screen maybe. Because apparently I can only paint off screen. Okay. Line art hard. <clears throat> line art make no sense. I feel... Whenever uh, I do stuff like this, right? I feel the need to like keep talking and keep talking with everyone. But I realize, uh... It's real hard to keep talking when you're trying to do a line art. <laughs> line art's difficult. Uh, so, you know, this VTuber talks... Ew, I talk! Oh, I'm sorry, I'll shut up, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, I do keep talking. I, I I might annoy the heck out of you. I do I do talk about nonsense while doing line art and not doing line art. It is in general nonsense spinning the canvas. No. <laughs> no. 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 Uh I'll beat up anyone else who's shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Agreed. It's okay. I'm good. Uh, I, okay, Mia, let's go. I'll ask Walk to beat up. <laughs> Invincible asked my dad to beat up. Uh, my dad is gonna go fight my wife? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do a line. Y'all have fun. This music has been great the entire way around. Wow. I love I love Sino. Sino's great. Sino good. Uh if maybe <laughs> behind the Denny's and only we get to eat some Denny's and I don't leave some for food. <laughs> of course you can order what you want my treat. Uh if you guys come back and you guys had like a you know one of those fights where it's like you gotta prove yourself in like a Pokemon battle? Uh, that better be the fight I see. That better be the fight you guys are having where it's like <laughs> uh Where uh, you know you get you get you're getting um you're you're throwing hands but you're getting it's it's um for a cause you're throwing hands for a cause is there any fast food worse than cold Taco Bell <laughs> you know okay hot take 
I think Taco Bell tastes great when you microwave it, even if it was like cold and stuff like that. It's I feel like it's one of the ones that tastes better microwaved. Alright guys, debate in the comments. Hold on, wait, debate in the comments. <laughs> Look at you, that's used to microwave a fast food. Debate in the comments. Should you microwave lunchables? Are micro like the lunchable pizzas? Do you microwave the lunchable pizza so it's like add it's like a actual pizza or do you are you blasphem are you the type of person that just eats it or are you the type of person who eats it in 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 parts i eat them cold that's some blasphemy i'm the blasphemy here i'm the blasphemy here i think it tastes better that way i think it tastes better warm than it does cold with melted cheese hey weirdo blob thank you for the follow welcome to the motens uh i eat them cold or hot you just eat the food. I eat them either. But no, nah, fam, it meant to be cold. They also eat it on the floor, so. <laughs> hey, D D DX man. Welcome to the Motens. Thank you for the follow. One day I'll remember what order that's supposed to go in. <laughs> mm, Alright. But, but, right, right, right? But would you also like, um, do you, okay, do you heat it up? Do you eat it cold? Or do you eat it in pieces? Like, you eat the pepperoni first, you eat the cheese next, and then you eat, like, the, the, the discs of quote unquote dough. How do you, how do you eat your Lunchables? Both. <laughs> I don't, I didn't eat any other, I don't eat any other Lunchables than, than pizza Lunchables, so I don't, I can't say anything about anything else. I never eat the dough this plain though. <laughs> I'll make the pizza, but I usually end up eating the cheese. Oh, okay. They at least usually have sauce. I guess the question is, do you would you guys like eat the sauce plain? Like if you had nothing else, like someone came in, uh some weirdo came in and just stole all your sauce. Would you sorry, stole everything but the sauce. Would you just eat the sauce? I like crackers. I do like crackers. I, I feel like I've eaten the pl plain before. Is that weird? <laughs> I like it plain. <clears throat> uh, slip right out of the pocket? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you gotta slip out it. You can't, you gotta, <laughs> I would not eat it to be honest. There, there's a couple, there's different peoples in the world. I need to rethink who I'm gonna, who I'm gonna read again. <laughs> hey, everyone from Bruce's chat. I actually was gonna go read Bruce. When I was done, and I missed the time. <laughs> I missed the timing. Uh, but there is a variable of how hungry I am. Yeah, yeah. If you're really hungry, you'll do anything, right? Like, um, I have a cousin. I have a cousin. Keep in mind, he's like two. Uh, he likes to just eat the. He just likes to eat the the, the sauce. Like if I'm having, like Chick Fil A, uh, which I do still do, even though I don't support some of the, some stuff. Uh. Uh, when I when I don't tear off my refuse, eat those. <laughs> Mio! Only in the soup. <laughs> but um, I I I wanna. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Damn it! It left me again. Bye bye thought. I guess you ran away again. Mm. <laughs> oh man. All right, so. The difference between sauce and soup is very thin, right? Right? Like, uh... You can make real good soups out of sauces. Choo-choo. Choo-choo goes a brain of thought. But you can make some real good soups out of sauces. So... Well, that, that suggests, right? There, there's a... There's this point where you're making, like, hand... Like, handmade. Like, none of that... None of that, like... Uh, normal... Normal... Store-bought stuff. Like, handmade... Good... Ketchup. Like, good handmade ketchup. Uh, homemade ketchup. You can... I've turned a soup into a sauce before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, right? What, right? <laughs> uh, man, my food, my food crimes are coming back to me. Can you make a sauce into a soup? Like, can you make a ketchup soup? To make, like, <laughs> tomato soup. Because, um, in, like, curry and stuff. In, like, Japan curry and stuff. You put a bit of ketchup in there. You put a little bit of ketchup in the the curry. Okay, I've made ketchup. Yeah, Imbish gets it. Imbish gets me. Ketchup soup, but I'm not a chef. That that's also valid. 
But also, if did it taste good? Did it taste okay at least? Because I've um I've used ketchup in a soup before, and I've done it in like curry. I've done it in like some other types of soups. And hmm. Uh. Hmm. Yes. 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 Uh, keep in mind. Uh, Impish has said before that they like the meat on that sandwich. So. Uh, <laughs> It counted as food. It did count as food. You know, that's sometimes that's all you can ask for in life, right? That it counts as food and that's good. Sometimes all you need is for food to count as food. I think what I find more interesting is that no one cares. No one re no one really cares if like how you eat your lunchables, right? Lunchables are lunchables. Anything is food if you can eat it. Now, see, I gotta disagree with that because you can eat a lot of stuff that you shouldn't eat. <laughs> like you can, you can eat weed cleaver. <laughs> you can eat weed stuff. You know, you can like eat, eat, eat stuff from. You can like eat like the the pesticides, right? Doesn't mean you should. Doesn't mean it won't kill you. Uh, if I eat it, it's food. It's not what I'm used to. <laughs> you can eat anything once. You can eat anything once. And you know, uh, some poisons actually taste real good. Like what's it called? There's um. Uh, there's there's a there's a there's a poison called uh what's the name? What's what's the name of the poison? Uh, it's it's like it's one of them berries. And I I hear it tastes sweet. It tastes good and sweet. I feel like you gotta try it at least once, right? Try at least once. Eat the forbidden fruit once. Uh, try everything once. Uh, you might, you might, one of those once things might be the last thing you try. Uh, but that's okay. You tried it. And that's all that matters. Alright. So, you know how when you're like a kid, right? And you're, and sometimes you could be a picky eater. And your parents goes, try at least once, it's not gonna kill you. What if you're severely allergic to that? Can you imagine like how dumb to be trying anything once? I know it's like being allergic to the exact same. Guys. <laughs> uh okay, but imagine like how traumatic that would be to someone if that's what happens. Like a parent was like, Oh come on, at least try it once and it's like and you reluctantly try it and you almost die. How terrifying would that be? You would never trust anything ever again. And it's like you get bragging rights from your like full body knocklet on ass. It's like you damn. Did you know that if uh did you know that if you if you're in a, a room alone with a with a uh one of them teasers, you're more likely to you're you're very likely to just uh, tase yourself if you're just alone in a room with no other stimuli. I think that's interesting. It's like it's better to feel something than nothing kind of thing. I'm gonna mix these rocks. We're gonna turn these into rocks. I don't know if I ever got debunked. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Only on the Mio stream do you get uh, good content where we talk about probably life death situations. I like to tune myself into two minutes at later. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> oh no. Uh, see, I was I was the kid. I was the idiot kid who um who would like take apart like light switches, right? I take apart the light switches to see what's inside. To be honest, I don't know if you're... Uh, that if you put famous YouTube trailer to test you alone in a room with a light or a person. <laughs> if you put Kara in a room with a lighter, it'll be on fire. That's accurate. I I feel like I've been in call with Kara before and Kara just going, Well, gotta put this lighter away. <laughs> that's that's gonna be true. Oh, look how per I, I like this pose a lot. I was worried about... I was- I'm- I get worried about like posing serpents because there's- there's a lot going on. This pose is good. I like this pose. This pose okay. A 
do we color it? Or do... Nah, we're gonna go line the other boy. We're gonna go line this one. Look at this friend. He's just got a... He's got that mad I'm floating vibe. I like your Pokemon. Thank you! I, I like yours. You too. I still love. Oh, uh, well... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real friend. Ah, goat! Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the Motens! I wonder... Okay. Oh, they're both really good artists. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yo, yo, how's playing... Pokemon... How's playing Pokemon Gago? Go? It's going okay. This is our Firestarters evolution, what do you think? I did lean into like, you know, how Firestarters are usually edgy in the second one. Sorry, not sorry, it's the truth. They're all edgy. All of them, they're going through that emo phase with all the fire types. <laughs> so, I gave them a bit of an edge. Hot take? I think the middle evolution is the best evolution. In like, all starter Pokemon. I don't know, I like them. I think um, they add... Complexity to a design, but also still are... Cuter than the, like the final evolution. Krokna number one, yeah, Krokna number one. The pose is very good and dynamic. Thank you. I stole it. <laughs> I did actually steal the pose. Uh, not for a reference. Uh, once upon a time in a land far, far away, uh, on the moon, when I was really little, um, uh, and I was role playing with uh, Kuine. We're doing a role play like on Google Docs and stuff and. I remember, uh, they were trying to- she was trying to visualize a scene that we were talking about and she- she did- she basically drew this pose and since then that pose has been my memory and only now has it come out as something useful, you know? <laughs> now it doesn't have to live in my head rent-free for no reason, now it has a purpose. It gets to be this boy's pose. I love good RP where art come from. Yeah, I, I do enjoy good RP. I think, um... When I was, uh... Uh, when... When my wife was in high school. Yeah, when my wife was in high school... They were... We were all part of, like, a lot of RP forms and things like that. That's, that's just part of childhood. That's just part of childhood. This is a thing I did. Uh, that being said, I've 100% uh, ran out of time. <laughs> you know, like when you grow up and you no longer have time to do a hobby, like for me, that's RPing. I don't have time for it anymore, really. I've noticed that, uh, and I also just don't vibe well with communities sometimes. Like, I, I get really, eh, I get eh about communities sometimes. I'm just so happy to see, like, RP starting to have like, yeah, I noticed that. I, I've been reading through it. I've I've been thinking about joining in. Uh, maybe when I have more time, you know. But yeah, I go. I am still in one of the RP servers. Uh, I'm in. I'm I'm mod there. <laughs> but uh, I have a few different partners for RPs. Yeah, me too. Mine's a Mio. <laughs> Mio's my dedicated RP partner. <sighs> We've been riding in the same same place for years. We built that world from the ground up. It's our baby. It's our child. And it exists solely to fascinate me as a person. I feel like. Now that just needs to go behind the ear. That needs to go behind the ear. That's how whiskers work, bud. You need that to go behind the ear. Perspective. Uh, mine is Kai. Yeah, yeah. I have a dedicated RP partner. Is it? Is it? Is it Ayaya? Is it Ayaya? Is Ayaya your dedicated RP partner? <laughs> Man, we also met Ayaya in RP form. <laughs> it's wild. 
so that's just yeah yeah uh, i too have a daycare up here sorry to duck out take a shower no worries hh welcome back oh uh, yeah me i have our all kinds of things yeah yeah you and i yeah yeah i feel the things uh some would call it bullying on twitter <laughs> Alright, let me talk about some characters I had I had with uh, connected with Ayaya and Mio back back when. Is this doxing? Is this does this considered doxing? I don't know if it does. We had like a family unit, and uh, we had a family unit that we were all in together. I'm not gonna say any names or what form this was on, but uh, it's basically just like the worst family you could ever kind of live in. And then I played the middle child. Uh, does does Mathis do RP? Does Mathis do RP? Had our RP partner. We talked about. <laughs> I don't think it was talking. That's fair. That's fair. But we, had, we, I had a, we had a family unit that we worked on together, and we all planned together with like one other person that we no longer have contact with. And God, if you guys think like the Twitter, the Twitter trolling those two do or is bad, man, the things that their characters would say in that form, <laughs> I, it's things that I would get me in trouble to say here. Oh, I do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. RP is good. RP is fun. Uh, everyone should try RP at least once. RP, not even once. RP is the gateway to writing. You like no? I feel like uh, everything like has like a gateway. Well, like a quote unquote gateway. Like this is how it starts. This is how it ends, kind of thing. RPing is the gateway to writing. More. Uh, the character was a horrible person. Actually, a horrible person. Legitimately a villain. Uh, that's legitimately what they were. They were a villain. And I played an enabler, so that's why they were all terrible. <laughs> I think it's a... Alright. Bad people make for compelling characters. I think that's something someone else said before. Bad bad people make compelling characters. I heard RPing. I RP like too much for my good. Valid. Valid. For me, RPing was a gateway to being gay. <laughs> they do. They do. Okay. Alright, guys. Listen, listen, listen. Before I knew I was gay, right? Now, this was before I even met Mio. Before I knew I was gay, I had a friend I RP'd with. I had a friend that did it with me. And we would write things together. And we did our first lesbian couple on pure accident. I didn't know what a lesbian was. and But they were super into it. <laughs> So I'm just like, well, you know, I'm gonna try it. I'm like, wow, this is my favorite ship. I wonder why. <laughs> He's a gay way. <sighs> I think one of my favorite characters was a CE character. CE? CE? I don't know that acronym. Chaotic evil. Ah, I feel that. Mine was lawful evil. Mine was <laughs> a 236 character. Yeah, yeah. So, the thing with a lot of like characters, right? They they don't exist in. Uh, but just, just okay. Where was I going with this? RPing is a gateway to D and D. I don't think that surprises anyone. I, I think a lot of our peers here could tell me which came first, the RP or the D&D. And um, for some, that might actually be D&D and then turn into rp -er. But for some, I know for a fact, it's like, oh, I was into, uh, I RP a lot and then I got into D&D and it became a part of my life. I know there's some people that are the opposite, but for me, that's how it was. My favorite character was I made a fanboy 
I'm tall, grunge aesthetic, incarnate e-girl. I see, I see. That's a pretty... That's probably a good one. If, if a character makes you happy, then the character is allowed to exist. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. As long as it's not... And as long as it doesn't go into, like, some illegal territories... Then I think it's... Everything's free game. If it makes you happy, if that's all that needs it needs to do. It's for you. It's not for anyone else. Unless you make a career out of it. And then it is for everyone else. Uh... Mine was what we call a shadow reach, which is the easiest thing I'd ever come up with. <laughs> I'm sorry between two upright minotaur paladins and a hippie half dwarf druid. Why not both? Why not both? It's okay for it to be both. Guys, let let it let it be both. Um, my favorite character has always been Mio's. That's actually a fact, yeah. Uh, so I have a character named Aqua. And man, does she like Aqua. Like, out of all the characters we've made together, Aqua has always been her favorite for whatever reason. I actually don't know why. She's just a water slime. If you ever find my art fight, she's on there. People draw her a whole lot. It's just, she's just a water slime. <laughs> There's nothing really unique about her design or anything like that. But her character is... Her character's gone through a couple arcs. I'm very proud of her. Uh, she's adorable water slime mom. She is, she is. Now she's a water slime mom though. Uh, before, she was very shy. One of those strong characters. She's gained a lot of confidence. She's the leader of a village now. Insane child, that is. Uh, hard crushed the lettuce on the mother's side. Uh, then King Pelagay. <sighs> yeah, that did happen. That was my fault. Oh god. Mm. Alright guys, sorry, give me a sec. I gotta take off my glasses. They're, they're causing me issues. What's this? There we go. Off they go. No more of those. I like my glasses with Uh, Mia, did you eat yet? Nope. <laughs> nope. And there's this- there's this whole reason why there's no food downstairs and I'm too lazy to cook. Uh, by the time I realized I didn't eat today, uh, it's our it was already around five. So I- I couldn't cook or anything. His stream was about to start in like 20 minutes. Eat. No, not yet, not yet. I will- I'm gonna finish, uh, I wanna finish this real quick. Uh, I'll definitely eat after we finish, like, the line art for this friend, and I'll go ahead and color them and render them, uh, in my own time. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I think, uh, th yeah, there's... Yeah, yeah. You better. Yeah, don't worry, I will eat. I will eat. I never lied about it before, maybe. I might have accidentally. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Hydrating in the meantime. I just got pink for some fan art and it's swell. That's great! I'm glad. Fan art for the dragon is always good. to be so they could see their ribs. Uh, thank you for being a chill and need to rough day, Mia. No worries. Always. That's what I'm here for. If you ever had a rough day, just come on in. 
I'll try to I'll try to keep it all calm. And that might all go out the window with Mio's and Mio's and stream. I've noticed that actually. You know? Uh, my whole tone of stream changes completely when Mio's here. It's not like I'm hiding anything. It's just something about Mio brings out a thing in me, you know? I'll sleep while watching this and again. And again, I do so in a car wearing heavy metal. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Uh, what's that one song? It's that one song from Promare. Uh, I suggest that for the car. <clears throat> when uh, I was doing things with the. Uh, when I went in cars. <laughs> so I, I try to play that one. Uh, I think it was recommended to me by Haru actually. Superfly did play. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm vibing with that. This, 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 I'm vibing with this right now. I don't know how I'm gonna render it yet, though. All the colors are up in the air in my brain. I don't want to change the palette too much. I think that's an issue with some Pokemon for me. They, the palette changes very drastically in between uh, Pokemon evolutions. And while it fits for some Pokemon, some of them is just... I don't know, your palette was fine, you didn't need to change it so drastically. I'm sure that there's a reason, like, there's, like, an in-character, uh, like, in-story reason. And also, like, a graphic design reason. I don't know, like, character design reason, I don't know. This isn't how you character design, <laughs> what I'm saying. Uh... I feel like character designers... Character designers are special. I can't see the toe. Can't see the feet. Scroll in, you can't see the feet. Uh, thank you guys uh, for coming by, by the way. In this busy world. Sometimes uh, the background music uh, will be gone for... Okay, so it lasts for like an hour fifty, so we've already looped around at least uh, once, I believe. We looped down at least once. Still a good, good soundtrack. Good, just good. Just good lo-fi mix. I'm gonna keep that uh, non non drawn in. That's gonna become um, a little design feature on the back of this Pokemon. I feel like everyone has like that series that they grew up drawing and like things like that. For me, it was always Pokemon. <laughs> I grew up drawing Pokemon. Uh, it's it's a, it's a it's a good thing for me. I like Pokemon a lot. Drawing curves. Why do I keep 
Why do I keep making that my brand? Why is that all you do? Awesome. It's smooth curves. Maybe if I came in closer with it when I'm not wearing glasses, that would help. That sounds like something that would help a lot. But then not. Really bad. Oh. Just, just me casually checking chat. Uh, it's a bit harder when you can't see, to be honest. And that's usually why I keep my glasses on. Just today was not having it. So your mistakes go down when you can't see. We'll fix that. Uh, yeah, ink can be tough sometimes, Lionheart. Yeah, yeah. Inking also works, to be fair. At least in, like, a traditional standpoint. Uh... If only I can, like, show you guys, like, my traditional stuff, you know? <clears throat> I still enjoy doing traditional art. I don't do it as much as digital art nowadays, though, which is a bummer, but it's okay. This is something I can share with the world. Because uh, what I've. Uh, before I was here, I was on Instagram. And I've always noticed that my traditional art never did as well as my digital art, because I don't have. I'm not good at photography and showing off how my art looks. So I just pick a battle. Pick a struggle. We'll fix the tail later. Um, when I can see a bit better. I still do traditional, but I never really color them anymore. Yeah, I feel that. It's just a lot of... A lot of other stuff. Okay. Got this friend. Got this friend. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys over. No! I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys over here. Alright. Can't see. We still got the little uh, bar up there. <laughs> I just took it off for today because of that. Uh, at 40, uh, Mia will start streaming, so that's gonna be exciting. But let's go see who we're gonna raid today. Let's see who's on today for for this. Let's go say hi to um Very Twenty Gaming. They're doing thank you for doing no problem, no problem. Uh, let me put my glasses back on for this so I can read what's going on. Okay. By the way, fun fact: when I take off my glasses in there, I do actually just take off my glasses. But uh, looking over here, Dirty Twenty Gaming is uh. Is playing some DD. I actually really like Dirty Twin Gaming. I've been on their channel before for their some DD stuff. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy their storytelling. Uh, Kevin is an amazing DM and they're very, very good. Alright, let's go ahead and get that started. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.